Hello and welcome to another Halloween tutorial, um, as you could probably guess. This one is spider inspired. I really hope you will enjoy this. I will show you how to do the hair first and then the makeup. Um, I will also put a link in here if you want to skip right to the makeup. And I hope you guys enjoy this. Okay, we're gonna start with the hair. You will need some um, things to bulk out your hair and pins and stuff and I'll put a list up on screen here somewhere. Um, I've pre-curled my hair. It's not absolutely necessary but it's nice if you have a little bit of texture in there to work with. Mine pins a lot better if I do that. And <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is divide my hair from my part to my ear like so and on the other side as well maybe you just want to grab the rest of your hair and move it out of the way for the moment like that now I'm gonna bring this front hair up into a ponytail And if you want, you can do it slightly off-center, which makes sure that your hair is nice and smooth in that ponytail. Now you're going to get your uh, hair foundation and back comb this section. Hairspray if you need to. This makes it a bit fluffier for me. And then I'm taking that little hair foundation, kind of forming it into a ball. Placing that right on top of that hairband and shaping my hair around it. Of course, bobby pin in place. The goal here is to get a nice, small, round, covered bun. Like, something like that. Now, for the rest of the hair, release your, uh, your ponytail and get a much bigger hair foundation. Um, I'm using a donut here wrapped in a hair foundation that I took apart, so I can pin into this. And I'm going to shape this sort of like a oval shape, I guess. What you want to go for is one slightly pointed end and one more rounded end sort of this shape and if it doesn't stay like this that you'll just have to pin it into that shape okay so what you want to do is place that behind the other bun at an angle if you want to make sure that's nice and secure to your head I'm using some of these twisting ones they stay a lot better in my hair if you have problems with the hair foundation falling off of your head you can make a small plait first and make it into a little bun and pin it into into that should give you enough of a hold. See how I'm shaping it as I pin it to my head? Alright, now we're gonna take sections of our hair and back comb that. Hairspray. So back comb this. And then, so take a section, back comb it, and pin that over your hair foundation. I'm gonna take another section here on the side. Start shaping that over that hair foundation. See how I went sort of crisscross the front so this is covered? Put in enough bobby pins so that shape appears and also you feel like it's secure and stays in place. I can see that my hair foundation is not covered there yet. So what I want is sort of shape it over like that. Check in a mirror. As you can see, this is sort of smooth now, so what we want to do is take a really big hair elastic or um, a piece of string or something 
and tie that around so we create that actual rounded shape. So take a black ribbon or a big elastic and tie it around. And now comes the fun part, getting this whole thing together. I'm taking a little bit of, this is just wool, but you can also use any other fiber. I'm putting that sort of underneath. It doesn't stay bobby pin it. Kind of cool cobweb effect. Now for the part that actually makes it look like a spider. I'm using these wool reds that I made. And you want to sort of push them into a bent shape. Now these, if you were to wet them and let them dry like this, they would probably stay a bit better. Now I've attached one of those twisting pins to the end of this thread. And what I'm going to do is stick this into the side of the big bun. Pinning these front legs to my scalp so they sort of stay like that. You need to give it a good blast of hairspray. And that's what the hair looks like. Of course you can leave it with this. I mean this is perfectly acceptable just uh, as a hair updo for Halloween. And it will look even cooler if you have dark hair, like a brown or black hair, I think. Because you will have a big black spider on your head. <laughs> but um, yeah, obviously my blue purple hair is not as scary. <laughs> um, I'm now gonna make this look a little bit scarier than it is. And I'm gonna put in some contacts and come back to you for makeup. As you can see, I put my contact lenses in. I'm now gluing um, these little blobs I made with my glue gun and painted with a black nail polish onto my forehead. I also had some half pearls that I painted in the same way that are slightly smaller. So I'm also going to stick on with some spirit glue. By the way, I think these contact lenses are too big for my eyes. So they're not the most comfortable thing in the world. But I'm gonna suffer through it for you guys. <laughs> by the way, this look was inspired by several um, makeup artists and I'll put the names in here. Okay, I'm just gonna do this eye and come back for you, uh, to you for the other one because otherwise this video will take way, 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 way too long. Okay, I'm back, I've done one eye, um, so I'm going to show you how I did this. Now, we're going to start off with Urban Decay Primer Potion to prime the eye. Also underneath, bring it down a bit. And then I'm taking my NYX Jumble Pencil in Milk. And I'm gonna put this on my eyelid. And I'm taking some of my Strange from the Naked 3 palette and putting it under my brow. Just pull it out a bit further than you normally would. Because we're going to continue the eyebrow line on like this one. Now I'm using a white eyeshadow over the jumbo pencil. Just make it a little bit whiter again. I'm taking a limit from the Naked 3 palette and putting that just above the crease. Put some of the jumbo pencil also in your waterline. Now I'm taking a small don't brush and some blackout from the Naked 3. And I'm gonna gently start creating a cut crease. So bring it down towards your eyelashes. Now to deepen that cut crease I'm gonna take my coal liner 
Just gently go over that. Taking it in a bit further here as well. And you can take that underneath your lash line also. I'm going to take a small brush and sort of blend that out. Now take a liquid eyeliner on your eyes. On the lower lash line, bringing it all the way in. Take my film brush again. I'm gonna blend it a little bit better. It'll be quite dark. And then what you want to do is sort of bring that winged lighter out and start making these sort of crackly patterns. Also bringing the cut crease all the way to the front here. And start drawing up, making similar sort of crackles. I'm starting off with a brown normal brow pencil. And I'm going to continue this line on towards my hairline and go over that with a black hole pencil. Brushing it out. And you can take your little dome brush that still has a little bit of residue of that black eyeshadow and sort of spread that out like so. And to give the illusion that that line is continued on, also take a little bit of your highlight shade and bring that underneath your fake brow here. Now I'm taking a brown um, eyeliner uh, pencil and I'm going to draw these lines on my forehead in between my fake eyes. And this is a very creamy pencil, which is helpful because now I can take a brush with a little bit of my blackout, darkening that line and sort of smudging it out a little bit. Going back to my eyeliner, I'm going to draw the illusion of these sort of eye-shaped points around my um, fake eyes. Just pretend they're eyes and line them like you would line your eye. If you want you can also make the sort of crackly pattern. Where it's too small you can also take a small little um, brush like one of these angled ones and some of your white eyeshadow and sort of pop that where you want it. Now the eyes are done. I'm just going to take some of my normal um, powder foundation and make sure my face is matte and not too red. And again, like last week, we're going to contour a bit. And for that, again, I'm using tees from the Naked 2 palette. Also taking it up to my temples here. Blending those lines you made, your hairline, darkening that. I just want to apologize for the state of my lips currently. They're a bit chapped because I had the most annoying cold sore of doom. But I'm gonna fill in my lips with this black pencil. Starting with a sort of crisscross there. I'm gonna take some gloss and put that over. We're not quite done yet. What I also want to do is take that same brown pencil and I'm gonna take draw a line from the tip of my nose down and put that same dome brush that we had before and a little bit of black heart on it. Bring 
it's all the way down actually. I think with that this look is complete. Um, if you want to make this even cooler <laughs> you could put in fangs or um, order full eye black contacts. Now those are quite expensive that's why I didn't buy them for this tutorial because they're about a hundred euros and I just didn't have the budget for that at the moment. Um, so I went with these 17mm ones but the curvature of these contact lenses seems to be a little bit too large for my eyes so I'm gonna be taking them out fairly soon. Um, to complete my costume I also have some loose sleeves with a spiderweb pattern on them. And that concludes my last Halloween tutorial for this year. Spider Queen Spider inspired. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please click that like button and subscribe. And I will hope to see you next time. Bye everyone. It seems to be a rule that I always forget something because I had another part to this costume, which were these little spider webs that I made out of hot glue. Um, I thought it might be nice to stick them on my cheek like this. Um, you can use lash glue for that or um, uh, spirit gum. Just for your information, I stuck it down with spirit gum and these were painted also with a black nail polish. So yeah, you can add this. It's optional really, but uh, I thought it looked kind of cool.